ladies and gentlemen, you know, America does a lot of things that I feel are way too invasive. You know, it's almost at the point where there's not going to be any privacy about anything. They want to take everything away from us. This came out on CNN Business December 2nd, 2019. Homeland Security wants to use facial recognition on traveling U.S. citizens too. Now, if you remember, there has been many problems, especially for Black people, when it comes down to facial recognition. If you remember the incident where this Black guy was trying to get through and he just had full lips and it kept saying his mouth was open and his mouth was not open, you know, so did you iron out those issues? Because we know when it comes down to AI, it seems to be extremely racist, you know, as racist as the people that are creating it. So this is issues for us. So we know facial recognition is a huge problem when it comes down to the Black population. You're, it's like you don't, have the ability to correctly recognize us just in general. And these stories are out there. So ladies and gentlemen, just another invasive thing that they're trying to do now. Department of Homeland Security wants to be able to use facial recognition technology to identify all people entering and leaving the United States, including U.S. citizens. And trust me, they're coming up with all kinds of ways to keep track of our travel, even internally, ladies and gentlemen. That's a whole different story. In a recent filing, the DHS proposed changing existing regulations to provide that all travelers, including U.S. citizens, may be required to be photographed upon entry and or departure from the United States, such as at airports. Now, is everybody okay with being photographed at the airport? <sighs> you know, I, I just don't think this is all necessary, but the U.S. is always doing shit we don't like. So what's new? Michael Harden, Director of Exit Entry Policy and Planning at the DHS told CNN Business that the rules is in the final stages of clearance, but because it hasn't yet been published, it won't go into effect until after a period of public comment, he said. Facial recognition technology, which typically match an image of a person, from a photo or video with a still image of them in a database is becoming increasingly common in airports throughout the world as governments and airlines use it for security and check-in purposes. The US government in particular has used facial recognition for the past 20 years or so, although it has only recently ramped up biometric uh, boarding at airports. Since the mid aughts, any non-US citizen traveling to the United States get their picture taken and fingerprints scanned on arrival. But this has not been a requirement for citizens, and it shouldn't be, and it shouldn't be. In 2017, Trump signed an executive order to accelerate a full rollout of airport biometrics for all domestic and international travelers. This was also supported by uh, the Obama administration. I don't care. I don't care who it was supported by. I don't care. And you trolls that keep coming to my channel talking about Obama, I don't give a damn about Obama. I don't give a damn about him. Y'all keep coming like 
because we are black people, we automatically care about Obama. We don't. And it just goes to prove you don't know black people. Yet while DHS said the proposed regulation change is meant to help spot criminals and prevent travel document fraud. Here's where I got a problem with that. America got a long-standing history of putting wrong people in jail. Uh, if you didn't have that kind of history, this might actually be okay. But being that you have constantly have a stream of wrong people in prison, you using AI to nab people, oh, you can you imagine how many people are going to be tied up because the AI fails? And it will fail. Like I said, it's already been a long issue with Black people using AI for facial recognition. It's been a long problem. And if somebody is dark, it has a problem picking that person up. So that in itself is going to be even more of a hassle for Black people going through airports. You know, uh, the American Civil Liberties Union noted on Monday that the filings contradict U.S. Customs and Border Protection previous statement that U.S. citizens would not be subjected to such surveillance, and they shouldn't. For what reason? Travelers, including U.S. citizens, should not have to subject to invasive biometric scans simply as a condition of exercising their constitutional right to travel. The ACLU senior policy analyst Jay Stanley said in a statement, and I agree with that. The government insistent on hurting forward with a large scale deployment of this powerful surveillance technology raises profound privacy concerns biometric entry and exit has been recommended, but not widely enforced since the illegal immigration reform and Immigrant Responsibility Act of 1996 and the 9-11 Commission report, the official report into the 2001 terror attacks on New York City and Washington, D.C. concluded that a biometric entry exit screening system for foreign nationals was integral to U.S. national security. Okay, I can see for that purpose, but why all American citizens that are traveling? That still don't make sense to why you want to do this with all U.S. citizens. So ladies and gentlemen, be wary of anything these folks want to do of this nature, especially in the black community, because this will turn out to be a big problem for us. You know, they already mass incarcerate too many innocent people without this being in place. You can imagine how much worse it's going to get for us once this is in place. I promise you, everybody's going to sail through the uh, biometrics, except for us. It'll be a big hassle when it's us. You know, and this will discourage a lot of people from flying. It will. A lot of people are going to be discouraged from flying and they're going to look for other avenues to get to where they need to go. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is just one more thing. <laughs> Whew. Let me see if I can, um, I'm not sure if I can, but let me see if I can play this video. Okay, a lot of buffering here. Maybe not. But like I said, AI has already been a big issue for us. 
and it's not even widely used, you know, at this stage of the game. But I can see you doing that with foreigners, but why American citizens? It, it doesn't justify that. Okay, look like it's trying to come up. You know, um, so you got to think about this. They're going to be doing this with men, women, children. You know, I just don't know how, like I said, they botch up everything. And I can just see this number one, holding up a lot of people that are trying to get through the airport. This is gonna slow everything down even more with them taking pictures of everybody, including US citizens. You know, it's already delays without this. With it, you're gonna be standing in line much longer than what you are. All right, let's see if this will work. <laughs> You know your picture is being taken, you're standing in front. pictures being taken you're standing in front of the camera there's nothing subversive about this and we're only comparing you against your passport photo and that's the photo you've already given the government for travel okay y'all uh... Well, y'all, you're going to have to tell me what you think of this one. I just think it's one more reason for them to be hassling us. You know, whatever changes they make, you can best believe we're going to be impacted more than everyone else. But please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.